Good day everyone! I am Teacher Bong, your lesson presenter for today. Before we begin, let us start with a short prayer followed by some friendly reminders. Here are some friendly reminders before we start our lesson. Things to remember. Give your full attention in the entirety of the lesson. Avoid doing other things while the lesson is in progress. Participate actively during the discussion. Send the required outputs using the instructions given. You may pause or backplay a part of this video to fully digest the lesson being presented and enjoy the whole discussion. We discussed last lesson the two motions of the earth, namely rotation and revolution. Rotation is the movement of the earth in its own axis and it takes about 24 hours to complete, while revolution is the movement of the earth around the sun and it takes about 365 and one four days for one year to complete. Hey kids, let's have some fun first by answering the following questions. Do not let the spaceship reach zero before choosing your answer among the options. Time will start the moment the question was given. Are you ready? Here we go! Number 1. It is the movement of the Earth in its axis. A. Rotation B. Revolution C. Orbit D. Tilt Answer, rotation. Number two. Any object moving around the star like the sun is called blank. A, planet. B, satellite. C, moon. D, sun. Answer, planet. Number three. It is the movement of the Earth along its orbit. A. Rotation B. Revolution C. Tide D. Tilt Answer, revolution. Number 4. Occurs every 4 years as to complete a cycle of the Earth's movement around the Sun. A. Orbit B. Rotation C. Revolution D. Leap Year Answer. Leap Year Number 5. How many degrees did the Earth is tilted while rotating in its axis? A. 23 B. 23.5 C. 24 Letter D. 24.5 Answer. 23.5 Number 6. Why do we experience day and night? A. Because of the Earth's gravity B. Because of the Earth's orbit C. Because of the Earth's rotation Letter D. Because of the Earth's revolution Answer. Because of the Earth's rotation Number 7. Blank is the imaginary line that runs from east to west of the Earth, separating the north and south. 
A. Equator B. Prime Meridian C. International Dateline Letter D. Hemisphere Answer, Equator Number 8. Model of the Earth A. Clay B. Map C. Ball D. Globe Answer, Globe Number 9. The force that pull things in its center. A. Gravity B. Revolution C. Friction D. Rotation Answer. Gravity Number 10. What is the red line? A. Orbit B. Axis C. North Pole Letter D. South Pole Answer. Axis Great! You have completed answering the questions. What was your score? Okay, now let us proceed with our main topic. Our lesson for today is taken from MELK, differentiate between rotation and revolution, and describe the effects of the Earth's motions. We have discussed the rotation and revolution, but this time, let us focus on what are the effects of those two movements of the Earth. Rotation is the spinning of the Earth on its axis, from west to east. This counterclockwise turn that takes 24 hours to complete have the following effects. The 24-hour cycle of rotation gives way to day and night. Night. The part of the Earth facing the Sun experiences day, while the part opposite to it experiences night. Earth's rotation is fast. It is about 1,000 miles per hour. The fastest car in 2021 to date is merely 350 miles per hour, making the Earth's rotation about three times of that speed. This centrifugal force leads to flattening of the poles and bulging in the equator, which result to the shape of the Earth, oblate spheroid. This bulging near the equator also affect the climate. Those near the equator experience abundance of sunlight compared to other places. This result in them having tropical climate or sometimes desert. The moon directly affects the tide. However, rotation affects the waters as well since the water is deflected due to Earth's rotation. Both wind and water in the Earth experience the Coriolis effect, named after the French mathematician scientist Gaspard de Coriolis. The speed of rotation affects the Earth's wind system. Wind deflects to the right in the northern hemisphere and left in the northern hemisphere. This also happens since wind and water are in the surface of a spinning Earth. As a recap, here are the effects of the Earth's rotation. 1. Day and night. 2. Flattening of the poles and bulging of the center, making the Earth oblate spheroid. 3. Tropical or hot climates near the equator. 4. Tides. 5. Deflection of wind. How about revolution? What are its effects? Due to revolution, the Earth's experience seasons as shown in the illustration. Perihelion is when the Earth is close to the Sun. Peri means close and helio means Sun. Therefore, perihelion means close to Sun. While aphelion is from the Latin word apo, apo which means far. Therefore, aphelion means far from the Sun. During perihelion and aphelion, the length of day and night changes. During winter solstice, night is longer than day and during summer solstice, day is longer than night. Equinox occurs when there is an equal length of night and day 
which occurs twice a year. The occurrence of solstice or equinox varies relative to the hemisphere. Solstice is from Latin solstitum, sol meaning sun, and stit meaning stationary or not moving. Equinox, on the other hand, is from Old French equinox. Equi means equal and nox meaning night. To sum it up, revolution have the following effects. 1. Occurrence of seasons. 2. Changes in the length of day and night. We have completed the discussion. Now, let us gauge how much did you learn by answering the following activity. Are you ready? Let's go! I will be giving effects of rotation and revolution, and you need to identify if this occurs due to rotation or revolution. Write your answers in a piece of paper. After answering, take a picture of your answers and PM it to me via messenger. Are you ready? Let's begin. 1. Change of seasons. Day and night. Three, shape of the earth, oblate spheroid. Four, winter solstice. Five, occurrence of tides. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Now, let us age further, how far did you learn? Good job, kids! Science is always finding the answer. This time, try to decode the meaning of this encryption. I will be giving 3 minutes for this activity. Use the legend above in decoding the sentence. Good luck!
time's up? Like the previous activity, take a picture of your answer and send it to me via messenger. Let us now proceed to the last activity. Copy the link on the screen for your quiz link using Google Form. You have today until tomorrow before 5 p.m. to answer this activity. for today's lesson. Again, I am Teacher Bong, your teacher for today. Thank you very much and see you again for another episode of iToro. Goodbye!